Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you will receive alerts when there are new episodes. Go get it. That's what I tell them. I've been grinding for so long, I wake up and chase my goals, I go out and I go get it, how to code, that's all I know, I don't succeed, then I don't breathe, success, what does it mean, if I conquer all my goals, then I'm living out my dream, dig deep, go out and get it, success chronicles, compete until it's finished, success chronicles, go take care of your business, success chronicles, it's deeper than just winning, success Hey, what's up everybody? We are here at the book signing for Concrete Connections and the Impact and Influence. We are here in Willis, Texas at my guy Desmond Jones at his establishment. And we have some great authors here with us. Uh, the authors in the book. And so we'll just go around the horn. We'll start over here with Woods, the visionary author. Uh, so just, you know, tell us, you know, who you are and, and what it is you do, Woods. All right, my name is Charles Woods, uh, 20 plus years in education, man, uh, it's a, I'm grateful to be here today with these fine gentlemen, these fine authors. Um, I've been in education, like I said, 20 plus years, man, I, I just live by motivating uh, individuals, uh, young scholars and adults, and just blessed to be here today. Jonesy, what about you? Uh, my name is Desmond Jones. Uh, I'm a personal trainer. I work with uh, sports performance and athletes in the, in the community. Um, and uh, I work here at X Sports, where we uh, work on training, um, nutrition, uh, weight management, and speed and agility. All right, Calais. Yes, sir. My name is Mike Calais. Um, I'm an author, just like these guys here, these great authors here. I'm happy to be here, number one, with Chip Baker. Uh, I also own a business over in Cleveland, Texas. Um, I'm a consultant with oil and gas and I've been in education forever so I have a mixed bag of things that I do but just like every one of us we want to make sure that we get the best versions of ourselves to our kids and we want to make sure that we motivate our guys and do the best we can for ourselves. There you go, good deal. Yeah. So, so seeing as you know the main uh, reason why we're here, you know the book signing is you know to support and you know be together have a good time and have some concrete connections. <laughs> so uh, yes, I, I throw it back on, on you, Woody, man. Um, you know, talk to us about the journey of, of, you know, being the visionary author of Concrete Connections. How's that been for you? Uh, it's been good, man. It's not like it's just something you wake up in the morning and you put together. This is like just living life, man. This is this is day to day life, and and that's the unique part of having so many collaborative authors in the book. You know, people bring their own story of what they've been through and the relationships they they built. Because you build relationships day to day, no matter what. You yeah, know, they can be yeah, good yeah. relationships, bad relationships. But what we wanted to focus on is those strong relationships, those concrete connections that help you propel yourself in life. Because nobody does anything alone. You know, yeah. it, it takes, yeah. like, the, like the saying says, it takes a village. You know, right. it takes a village yes. to raise kids. That goes for us as adults. It takes a village for us to be successful in life. So exactly. I really just wanted people to tell their version of uh, the solid relationships they've built and how those uh, relationships help them be as successful as they are today and just who they are today. Day. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So y'all, if y'all don't mind, uh, uh, Woods and Calais, I mean Jonesy and Calais, and tell us about, you know, how, how it was for you writing your chapter for the book. Okay. Um, so for me, uh, specifically the chapter, uh, like, like you said, you know, we uh, go through different relationships every day. Mm -hmm. We're going to meet people. We're going to, you know, some people help us, some people don't. Just seeing where you benefit and how you do, how you don't benefit from those relationships. And I just want to kind of think about, as far as my chapter went, I, I just want to think about the areas that my relationships benefit me the most. And that's what mm -hmm. I was, that's, that's the point that I wanted to make when I, when I was uh, writing my chapter. And when I was thinking about that, I was thinking, okay, well, when I say benefit me most, what are the areas in my life that I, that I hold most you know most valuable and how that helps me in my mental process my preparation and then yeah. once I've executed a plan or even the thought process of coming to getting to a plan mm -hmm. and uh, and I really wanted to kind of kind of focus in on, on the value of those relationships and how much they do help me in my life and how they get me there so when I was looking at my chapter in the book I just really wanted to portray that like keeping keeping a good um, keeping a good handle on 
who's in your life and how they play a part in your life is important to getting to wherever you're trying to go. Uh, like not being distracted, making sure that they're continuing to push you, making sure that you're motivated, creating that eccentric motivation as well uh, on your own. But I feel like the people around me, just like being here with you guys, like yeah. I feel like the people around me who keep, who I keep in my life push me a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like sitting at this table with you guys, I'm, I'm thinking of ways that I could be better. I'm thinking of ways that I can improve whatever it is that I'm doing. Like I'm even seeing from the setup on the camera, the lighting, all that. I'm like, okay, that's something that I can add to what I'm doing. So <laughs> yeah. when I was thinking about the book, it was just like, how, how do these relationships affect me? In what ways? If you can have a non-verbal meeting and I still feel like I'm trying to better myself in a, in a room, then I, I feel like that's, that's one of those things that I was really trying to, trying to uh, capture in, in, in the book. Man, that's so that's, good. What about perfect. you? What about you, Kelly? Well, this this book was a perfect project to to just springboard from my original book, Conceived in Chaos. Mm -hmm. So, as the book started maturing in my head, the chapters, my thought process was mentors. Yeah. How you become a mentor? First, you're gonna first you're gonna look and you're gonna you're gonna seek out a mentor that you would want to emulate. And then you find yourself maturing into a mentor yourself. And as you mentor others with the, with the knowledge that you have and you grow these people to be the best version of themselves, then you find yourself retracting back into a mentee space where an older mentor is going to give you those nuggets that you really, really missed along the way as you were growing. Right. Okay. So in Conceiving Chaos, the, the, this, this, this journey that this kid had, he did not have a mentor. He fumbled through his life finding himself and then once he stood on certain certain grounds of uh, what, what I call um, foundational skills that he had learned and acquired, then he strengthened himself and then he changed his perception of reality. Right. So, so this project was a perfect springboard and as, as you read my chapter you figure out that you know, you're constantly a, a forever learner, you know, going through your life. And sure. that's the biggest part about growing, and that's growth. Right. And I love how y'all put that together. You know, in, in my chapter, you know, I talked about, like, I love, like, analogies. You know, if you can visualize, you know, a, a plug in, in, in a socket, right? And, you know, that, that plug, you know, it's power uh, coming from that. And whatever is connected to the, the cord from that, they get the juice, the energy. Right. right. And so uh, in our life, it's important for us to have those concrete connections because of those relationships, like that's the energy, the juice, the plug that gets us going in our life. That's right. right. And so that's kind of what, you know, I wrote about uh, in my chapter, just really the relationships and how you know, those quality relationships, those concrete connections are dang powerful. Right. Yeah. And I think... You know, y'all may probably agree with this, which is the reason why we're all here. Right. That's right. Yep. Right. Right. You know, exactly. just from from those connections, and so yeah, you know, I know uh, you know our backgrounds. You know, education. We've connected through some different things, sports avenues. But I'm gonna go back to you, Woods, man. What's um, you know, when, you, when you're looking at what's one of the benefits that you've seen in your life uh, with the concrete connections that you've had. Well, that that even takes me back to my chapter. Like I, I focused on like three um, main parts of, of, you know, three important parts of my life where those concrete connections has helped me propel. Like you know, just growing up, uh, making a choice of who I decide was going to be in my circle, which was yeah. very important. You know, and I see that with Jonesy with his guys that he mm -hmm. has. You know, being able to watch him grow and his guys. That's the same type of like bond that me and my guys had that we held each other accountable for the things that we did daily and made sure that we were doing the, the right thing and helping you know as much as we could yeah, from yeah, the yeah, knowledge yeah, that we yeah, got yeah, right. to uh, push each other forward because you know a lot of them were single moms you know uh, we all had these different things that we were going through at home so we would uh, we, we picked each other up also a concrete connection that I made with the coach you know uh, something that was important to us that helped me get to where I was which is getting a scholarship to play football so I could get a degree you yeah. Know? So I can yeah. get a degree for a kid coming from where I came from. I didn't know no other way to get a degree at that point in time in my yeah. life. So yeah. that connection helped. And then the connection that I had with that coaching staff um, 
in college that was my second coaching staff, you know, my third DB coach, you know, just keeping a solid connection with those guys. And I got a phone call um, from one of the coaches on that staff, uh, Tyke Talbert, who's actually a Conroe guy, another connection. Tyke yeah. Tyke yeah. Talbert, he calls Tyke me. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, went to LSU. Yeah. But he was coaching at UL at that time, and uh, my DB coach actually um, asked him to call me and say, hey, offer him the GA's position, so they offer me a GA position, so I get to go back and I get two degrees from a university for free because of connections. Man. Oh. Was that Coach Baldwin there? Coach, that wasn't Coach Baldwin. That was Coach Baldwin. That was Coach My Baldwin. linebacker's coach. Yeah, yep, that was that staff. That's crazy how that works. <laughs> Come on, yeah. concrete connection. Concrete connection. Yeah. Didn't, didn't, yeah. didn't, didn't even know. World, right? I just realized yep, that. Yep, Baldwin was there, and, yeah. and Gary Bartell was my DB back, my DB yes, coach. Indeed. So he was the one that you know, wanted me to come back and do that. So those connections helped me uh, plant a seed in my life that would help me propel forward. Not only that, that coach that was my DB coach in high school, he was the guy that got me into education. Yeah. He was a principal at Caney Creek, and he says, hey, I think you make a good coach and teacher. When I was like, I don't want to coach nobody kids. Right. I don't want to teach nobody kids, and I don't want to talk to parents about their kids. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's what happened, yeah. you know, in the week wait, when I was in. Wait, you a principal now? <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, yeah, all of that, like, in that order. In that order, so, like, he coached the kids, he had to talk to the parents. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> but that was um, what, that's what I said, and right. then you know, twenty plus years later, I'm in education because yeah. of him uh, sure. pushing me and saying, "Hey," and having that that belief in me that I would be a good good example for young scholars, right, man. Right. Butterfly effect, man. Like right. one moment, right? Trickle down and affect yourself. I mean, think about like lives that you may have impacted as a coach, like kids, that, like even for for us, like I mean, obviously, you know, you're just one of those people we looked up to, obviously, and uh, someone we respected dearly, mm -hmm. and, you know, like your opinion, you know, we took we took heed to what you were telling us, but I'm saying like, it, it, you wouldn't think like going back, it was like, man, I wasn't even gonna come, like I wasn't even gonna go here, <laughs> right? Like, I, like we were talking earlier, I wasn't even gonna do this anymore, right? Like, yeah. And then, but it was so in, in, influential and impactful for the lives around. I, I just I like how that all kind of comes together, you right, know, at the right. end. It's all right. Right. Just we appreciate like you said. You. This is your this is your product, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. To hear kids come back after all of these years of us coaching and and mentoring these guys, I mean, they have parents at home, right? But yeah. there's certain things that you pass on to right. them within their space, right? See, right. that the thing that I I, I kind of pass on with those guys is that four years of high school that you're in, that's your little world right there, mm -hmm. and you want to make sure that you make mistakes. But make them as small as possible, right. so that it's a it's a sample size, mm -hmm. okay? So when you get your kids to call back and hey, I coach them get married, or, or or coach, this is what I'm doing now, and I just want to thank you for this, this, and this because right. I was a hard head then and right, now. Right, right, right. I mean, you just you know these are the kind of things yep. that the products right, right. now. Right. Yeah, it's in the pudding, man. You're doing the right thing. And that fills my heart. Yeah. Like to yeah. see these guys, whether I talk to them on a daily basis or I'm watching them on social media and I'm keeping up with them some form or some fashion. Yeah. And, that's right. and it, it, that's the kind of stuff that lights my heart, man. There you that's go. why That's why I do it. That's why I've stayed so long in it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. I think, too, you know, as y'all talk about all of those things, like first, like, like you said, it warms your heart, but it gives me chills, too, because I think it also fuels the passion yes. yeah. you know like it, it 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 affirms to you that it's the right thing right, That's right. right. you know it affirms right. to you and so just I mean you never know just as you were talking about you know the coach that got you into it like I was reflecting on my coach you know coaches mm -hmm. growing up right right those people that I looked up to and then you know what you don't realize is that those people see the things that you do and then you get opportunities from that mm -hmm. as well right and so man it's it's just great to to be able to do those things to get us to where we are right, right. Uh, here today, absolutely. Right. And so, uh, <clears throat> you know, as we kind of as we kind of wrap up and, and close here, you know, I love to kind of just hit on just one, you know, uh, one final point that we want to leave with the audience. You know, based off of our experiences of growing up and getting to where we are, based off of our experiences on the connections that we have. What's one final key takeaway? Um, we'll, we'll finish with, with you, Woody, but we'll start, we'll go here, Calais, with you, and then we'll work our way around, and then we'll go from there. So, okay. Well, what, what I would like to leave with everyone is you make your reality. 
you paint your picture. This is this is your Rembrandt. Don't don't feel that someone else has your your paintbrush. Okay? When you walk into a situation, know what you want. Paint it and keep moving forward. It doesn't matter if it's this much or this much. As long as you're moving forward, you're making progress. So that's what I'd love to leave with everybody. That's awesome. What about you, Jonesy? One final thought. Um just like the book say, just the impact of influence and having a relationship. Um, it, it's, it's one of those things that helps you grow as a person, not necessarily in your personal life, but it helps you grow in your, in your business. It helps you grow uh, with the relationships you share between your friends, your families. And it's really important to like show respect and show love in those relationships because a lot of the times we take it for granted. We feel like a friend is something we're supposed to have, but it's really not. It's not something, no one is, is obligated to give their time and their effort and their energy to you. And then you have those people in your life that are willing to do those things. You wanna kind of make sure that you cherish those moments, cherish those relationships, and help each other grow and build from it. And that's the most important part about all my relationships. We all help each other grow, some way, some form. If I can connect you to somebody, if you can connect me to somebody, we're here for each other. So I just think we should just learn to uh, cherish those connections a little bit more and not take them for granted because it's not an everyday thing and no one's promised you their energy and time. So that's appreciate right. each other a little bit more. That's yes, right. sir. That's right. What about you, Woods? Uh, just listening to what they was, they were saying, and then you know, being an author in both books, you know, and something that I focus on all the time is like you have a choice. You know, yeah. every every day you wake up in the morning, you have a choice of whether you want to do the right thing, or you don't want to do the right thing, and it's that simple. Mm -hmm. Like doing the right thing is simple. We all know what the right thing is, and doing yeah. right good by people. Mm -hmm. So you have a choice in life, you know. So never feel like you don't have that choice. Right. Make those decisions, build those bonds with and you don't have to be you don't have to build bonds with everybody. Yeah. Be selective yeah. in the group that you hang right. hang yeah. around, you know. Yeah. If you want to be able to empower that group and you want to be around people that empower you. Yeah. So yeah. you have a you have a choice of what you want to do and how you want to do it. That's you right. know. Well, there it is. We just wanted to get a little session, give some nuggets while we're here at the book signing. I want to say also thanks to everybody for the support that you've shown and the love. Ask that you continue to do that. Follow these guys. Check them out. But uh, we'll see you next time. Go get it. Go get it.